What is up, YouTube? I'm making me some burritos, so if y'all hear a beep later on, that's what it is. The oven is preheating. Um, but I want to get into talking about. I just noticed that, so I'm pretty sure y'all noticed that. I mean, go get tissue. Um, sorry. Um, okay. So, um, anyways, a little bit about fishing. It seems like people have something that they prefer to fish with as far as bait goes. Um, some people like spinner bait, some people like crank bait, some people like um, topwater baits, some people like live bait. Um, me personally, I prefer live bait and I honestly do think it is the best bait out there. Yes, spinner baits, crank baits, top water baits, they all have their advantages. However, the main reason why I don't like them is because they are fake baits. Think about it. You see a fake apple sitting at the dinner table like you have those big balls with all the fake fruits and the fake grapes the fake apples and it looks real and it it somehow looks more delicious than the original but you try to bite into that fake apple it is going to be nasty and you are not going to like it i can guarantee you that the same way with a fish it sees that little spinner bait designed to look like a little minnow swimming through the water. And it sees that and it it thinks it's good, but it's not. Um, yes, it works the same way. It works just as good, sometimes better as to draw it in. But honestly, I feel like if we don't like fake things, why would they like it? Um... That's just my personal opinion. I do for, for as far as live baits go, I tend to go more towards crickets because like worms, they are extremely accessible. You can get them anywhere very easily. Um, you go out in your backyard on a um, on a warm night and just catch about eighty of them. Um, area or you go pay five bucks for them to where if um honestly if toads or crawdads were just as accessible crickets for them over crickets but i do think that crickets work better than worms how That's just as far as things that you can get by either um, catching your yard or paying money for it. The best live bait, however, that you can get is fish itself. Especially if you're going catfishing. Catfish will eat anything, even other smaller catfish. You take and pull open a belly of a catfish and you'll find just about everything in it. You can find smaller fish, you can find snakes in catfish. Um, and um, so, with that being said, crickets is my main choice to catch just any old fish. But if I'm going for more of bigger fish, game fish especially for catfish I would always use some 
smaller fish heads. Most fish Um, with bass, I do find that bass do better with one than anything else. With catfish, they obviously prefer fish heads. With trout and um, minnow and crappy, they all prefer crickets to my experiences. Um, then there are some fish... Um, that prefer crawdads, some fish that prefer toads. Bass and catfish both prefer toads. Um, if you find you some toads, put them on that hook, cast it in, reel it a few times, release it, and that is the key to any fish. Don't just let the bait sit there. At the same time, do not immediately reel it in when you think it's got a bite. Sometimes it's okay just to let it sit there, but uh, a lot of times you'll notice the fish will play with the food and not eat it uh, more often. Occasionally, yeah, they go up and just snatch it and eat it. Um, constantly reeling it a little bit, releasing it a little bit, reeling it a little bit, releasing it, letting those tides push it while you pull it. It, it makes it seem alive. It makes it seem... Um, it makes it seem like it's not a dead animal on a hook, uh, basically. Um, and... I do. Fish thrive for the chase. Um, they don't want just some random dead animal. However, they will get that. Um, but as as far as baits go, you really just got to know what you're fishing for. Me, I prefer to fish for cat because catfish are extremely amazing eating so I normally go out there with some crickets um put those crickets on the hook um or some trout or manos or any small pan fish really um I go out there and catch and and then what I do I would cut off their fins, um, and then I would separate their heads from their bodies. Sometimes I would use the body half, sometimes I use the head half, but I want to cut it into a smaller piece to go on to that hook. Um, I'll put it out. I talked about hooks in a previous video. Um, Y'all should definitely check that out. Um, there are different types of hooks for different types of fish. I use, when I'm fishing for catfish, I would obviously use catfish hooks. Uh, they have a bone and not be released. Um, and then I'll take and slide that fish head onto the hook and cast it out me i do not use bobbers mainly because i feel for the fish i know how to know if it's just nibbling or if it's got that hook and i need to start reeling right then and there um so i don't use bobbers because i don't really need them uh but um I do use weights on my fishing pole. I have two little clamp baits um, on my pole, and that's it. 
clamp baits and I switch up between hooks. I do use spinner baits. Um, and I do use topwater baits. Um, but that's very rarely. Um, I was not rarely, but it's not as often as I would use live bait because I was just out there a few weeks ago using and then I also had a frog bait a frog topwater bait that had gotten stuck and I couldn't get it out so I lost that I gotta get me another one of those I forgot to put a timer on this But, um, like I said in the previous video when I was talking about hooks, um, not the previous video, the previous fishing video when I was talking about hooks, just experiment with your baits. Obviously, I'm not a professional. I don't know everything. I go based off of what I experienced off of. Experience with your baits. Try different stuff out. If it works for you, it works for you. If it don't, it don't. Try something new. Um, there are actually a lot that will actually use hot dogs and barbecue sauce and then rub a little bit of um, fish dip on it. Uh, dip bait. I do use dip bait. Dip bait works amazing. Um, I, I thought to go. And that stuff, I caught some decent sized fish on that um and just by putting so they have a special type of hook for the dip bait and it's basically a little yellow net attached to the hook you would take and um pull that net open um and then stuff the dip bait into it and then once you've done stuffing the dip bait into it it automatically close up i, I tried it a few months ago and it has three little hooks at the bottom of it underneath the net you cast that out you catch you some decent size But, um, yeah, dip bait is a very good bait. Um, if, if you don't want to go out there and use live bait and you don't want to go out there and use crank baits and top wire baits, um, I honestly think dip bait is actually one of the best baits you can get uh, from a store. And it, it is, um... It's very affordable too. I got a big thing of it for like five dollars. Um, like a thing. I can't do it while I'm holding up my phone. A thing as tall as this bottle, but as thick as a toaster. Um, basically, but rounded. Um, I got that. so well and so affordable it's just amazing um, but yeah just try different stuff out see what you prefer and stick with it um, keep on trying new stuff as you go off